Welcome to Gaming Fin, your channel for everything related to the gaming industry and the financial markets. And my friends, it's time for a new CD Projekt Red update. So you remember when I was uh, making CD Projekt Red update videos each week and uh, hey, and I always, I always make those videos when the stocks are falling. So because I think that's very, very uh, 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 interesting. That's that's when when actually the fun starts and people think about so shall I invest, shall I, shall I invest into this company? And then mostly when the stocks going up again, I'm not really making those videos. So I'm not really making those videos. But my friends, so it's time now to look at the chart, especially. So I think from a from a mere news investors relation perspective, so from news presentation numbers, etc., not so much happened. So here we have the numbers uh, uh, from November last year. I made already a video about this, so you find this on my channel. So I'm not going to jump into this. So the numbers were not that bad. The numbers were actually pretty well. And for example, the Cyberpunk Edge Runners and I was. Uh, was received very uh, positively and we have going to have a new AIP intellectual property is called Hader. Hader is the concept name so that's very cool and then uh, of course we're all looking for Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty the expansion so I'm looking personally forward to this and here we also looking forward to series by Molasses Flood a Witcher game then a new Witcher trilogy so that's going to be super interesting and Canis Major is also a Witcher game uh, developed by a third party so this was in october 2022 so a little recap uh, here so let's have a look guys so i think what is very very interesting so so of course it's always you can you can draw the fibonacci retracement where you want so but i would say i i was drawing it more or less uh, okayish here and uh, since then so i can actually even move it a little bit up move it a little bit up there yeah, like this so if we look at the fibonacci retracement if we look now here at the fibonacci retracement then we see guys we are above the fibonacci retracement so this is the this is the death valley the red part and uh, we found some we found some support at 86 7 uh polish uh, polish slotties and since then we had a nice upwards trend no, and then now, of course, is the question, can we stay above the Fibonacci retracement, which is around about 130 slotties. So 130 slotties is a very interesting value. It's a very strong resistant uh, to the upside, but also a support level to the downside. If you look in 2019, we were also uh, after we had the first little crash in 2018. So 2018, 19, we're also from 130 uh, Polish slotty. We were going like crazily up to the 440 slotty. I mean, then everyone was wishing. So I would have loved to be uh, invested in CD Projekt. So guys, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a YouTuber, retail investor myself, and I am in invested in CD Projekt Red and I uh, to be also very very uh, transparent here guys I'm at the moment in the minus when it comes to my CD Projekt Red investment I'm also invested in other Polish gaming companies like Playway, Star Wars Industries, Bluebird, Ultimate Games and CI Games so but CD Projekt is uh, still 35% down for me so and uh, from the uh, point of view of the position it's an over 1% of my overall portfolio position so it's one of my bigger positions so, so therefore i have to go back at 29210 actually to break even so 29210 so round about here i have to get back to break even so is this possible so i hope so guys i mean uh, uh, do i know it no i definitely don't know it so my plan was to be honest my plan was i wanted to buy some more around about 85 slotties now i have to check when i bought more so yes i bought uh, i bought more shares at 96 so 96 here around about there i bought more so that's okay but uh with regard to the overall <coughs> the overall shares i already had i just bought a little position so i hope to buy some
some more when we were falling to 86 and at one point all the stocks are falling and I actually didn't have any cash anymore and, and my position in CD Projekt was already that big that I didn't want to buy some more. So that's how it goes sometimes. So sometimes your position in the stock is growing too big and, and even the stock is falling further and even you believe in the future of the stock in the future of the company. So it, those so CD Projekt or also Ubisoft, those are not companies that are creating hot air. Those are companies that create pr uh, products that that I personally love, that I play, that I use, that millions of other gamers are using. So that's that's for me the difference of those companies. For example, with regards to to all those hot air specs companies, the IPOs we had in 2021. So that's the big difference. So those are real companies. CD Projekt, Ubisoft, real companies, or all the other gaming companies. Yeah, well, didn't buy enough, and then uh, we can also check out. So. Uh, we check, uh, can here look uh, on Google Finance, we see 65% from the low. And now you would say, oh my God, Mr. Orange, I forgot it again. I forgot to buy a CD project here at 65. Yeah, you would have made 65% if you would just have some balls in your pants. <laughs> Let's put it like this, guys. So if you don't have balls in your pants, well, you will always say, oh, the stock is falling. I will not buy. So yeah, I, I don't tell you to buy. So you make your own research. You lose your own money. You decide when you buy. Of course, I'm just talking about my money and I'm talking about my balls in my pants. And this means that I actually, I bought a little bit and I have to say, I didn't have old, I didn't have also, yeah, I didn't have enough balls in my pants. And uh, now now I'm, um, I'm regretting this. But on the other hand, my friends, so on the other hand, you know, from a psychological point of view, so we talk now a bit of psycho about psychology and, and, and investing. What happens if it goes back to the 1889 slot this year? I, am I going to buy some more then? Am I going to be sad that I didn't buy uh, more before in, in September? No, of course, then I'm going to say, yeah, well, maybe it goes now further down. Maybe the next uh, Cyberpunk, uh, uh, the, the DLC, the games of Witcher, they're not going to be so successful. There's an overall, overall recession in the, uh, in the worldwide recession. Uh, no one buys video games anymore. So, yeah, then I would be happy uh, that I didn't buy so much more. So, guys, you know, it's a game of luck, a game of chance. You cannot, you cannot really time the market. So this is always the most important, uh, the most important message I want to give here in those videos. I'm a long-term investor, long-time investor, long-term investor. So I invest already since since quite some time, and I'm continue to invest even longer. So and my plan is, guys, to hold CD Projekt for for yeah now for some some years to come so five six five to ten years so cd project is definitely a stock i'm not planning to trade or to sell so i'm going to keep the stock and uh, maybe let's be honest so if it goes back maybe to to 437 in the next bubble in the next bubble if i see uh, we are again in a bubble and i don't see actually uh, the stock Stock, uh, the company uh, delivering so many good games then, then it's time to sell but until then I'm holding on I I keep the dividend I'm happy with the dividend and uh, I'm just hoping that they continue with some great games and I I believe that the in general the Polish uh, gaming industry in or the gaming industry in Poland that there is a, a huge uh, huge growth and there I mean they already make so many of those games that we have nowadays that we nowadays have on Steam they all come from Poland it, it's like crazy guys so Bluebird CI games CD project Playway Star Wars industry now in the future so and even more even more games so 11 bit all of those companies come from Poland so I'm actually really really impressed I, I, I amazed by by the Polish gaming industry all right guys so that's the CD project so you don't buy anything I'm talking about in my videos this is uh, an order because you will lose all your money because most probably you would have sold uh, we, you would have bought here at 440 slotty because you have watched a youtuber talking about CD project and then you would have sold at 85 slotties and now you would cry because it went up again so guys you know the story. I'm not a financial advisor. Information entertainment purposes only. I have to say it because some people don't understand it. And with that, I'm leaving it here. I wish you a wonderful day. See you next time. Bye bye.